Businesses affected by the shutdown have been urged to apply for loans, but we're hearing about more small local businesses that are not getting help compared to their bigger counterparts. KCAL 9's Christine Lazar explains. Sammy Bennett owns a woman's clothing boutique, Wood and Hanger, on what once was a busy stretch of Ventura Boulevard in Woodland Hills. We're at a complete standstill. Bennett applied for a small business disaster loan. And we were told that we would probably get an infusion of $10,000. But when the loan came, we ended up getting 2000 What can you do with that? The small business disaster loans and the payment protection program are now out of money. And there has been outrage that several large chains have received millions. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse got $20 million. Burger chain Shake Shack got $10 million, which it now plans to return. But CBS News has learned that the Small Business Administration cannot make any new loans against those funds until Congress authorizes another round of disbursements. I feel like I've been left behind by our government. Jennifer Saxton owns Tot Squad, a marketplace for new parents. She applied for both programs and hasn't received a dime. I feel like I have dotted every I and crossed every T and been first in line. And there's just no clarity about how these funds are being allocated. Dreamy Creations in Northridge did get a sizable SBA loan, but owner Jenica Braddock has had to change her business model to stay afloat. In addition to opening for carryout May 1st, she's launching at home gourmet cake mixes and my goal is to get it into grocery stores nationwide and bring dreamy creations into people's homes. Saxton has shifted to more online services but she doesn't know if it will be enough to sustain her business. I really want our government to hear the cry for help that we're putting out there and also for our banks to do a better job. Ruth Chris finally released a statement today saying it has a responsibility to its 30 business owners its shareholders and its customers to do everything it can to make sure that the business is strong and viable. There was no mention of giving any of the money back. Christine Lazar, KCAL 9 News.